Yo, my dudes, what's going on? David here, and welcome to another reaction. This episode, we are diving into That 70s Show, Season 1, Episode 17, called The Pill. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. Hopefully, you are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. But with that being said, if you watched the previous video and you watched it all the way through, you know that at the end of it, I gave my full-on list of my thoughts ranking-wise for the characters up until this point. Uh, if you want, feel free to put your list down in the comment section below. Uh, I have to fix mine because I don't know how. What got into me? I forgot Bob. And you can't do that. You can't forget Bob. Bob is too, uh, I'm too fond of Bob. And so the fact that I forgot him on there, I'm gonna redo it now as, a, as an intro. Uh, I apologize if you want me to jump into the show. Uh, you can just skip forward from this point. But basically, uh, beforehand, I had Jackie, I think, as the like my, my least favorite. I think I'll put Midge there. Uh, you know, after thinking about it, she really doesn't do much. But she isn't someone I hate either. Uh, she just doesn't do much. So I'd put her, and then I'd put Jackie and Kelso. Uh, just because I'm not all that on Kelso. I don't put Kelso in front of Hyde or Foreman. Or even Fez at this point yet. Uh, but then after that, I would probably do Donna, Fez. Uh, I'll go Bob, Hyde, Foreman, Red, Kitty as my favorite. I think Kitty's my favorite right now. Uh, she is just an amazing mother in this thing. She is hilarious. Uh, and I'm just enjoying every bit of the show. So, uh, yeah, if you want, go into the comic section and let me know. What it is like? What what's your ranking? What is your all time ranking of the at least of the cast members that are on here now? I don't know who they introduce later on, but let me know. Let me know. Let's spark a little uh, debate down in the comment section, man. I want to see because I know a lot of people are very high on Hyde. I love Hyde, but Kitty, Kitty's Kitty's amazing, and so is Red. Like as parents, those are that's usually supposed to be the boring part, and for some reason, it's just as fun as the kids. But anyways, buckle your seatbelts. Let's ride. And now, the spotlight dance. This is Mr. Lou Rawls. He looks a little miserable right now. <laughs> Show me some moves. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. You into this, Jackie? Hey! Oh, the pill. Oh, jeez. That would have pissed me off. He's too calm about Harry, that. you're like a million miles away. What's going on? Okay, Donna, I have to tell you something, but you have to promise you're not going to tell anybody else. Dirk, oh, I swear, this, tell me. This is going to go bad. This is going to go really bad. Two of the three stooches fed me grapes. While I played them a beautiful song on my accordion. In the nude. Somehow the what the heck? part bothers me more than the nude part. <laughs> Michael, stop it. What did I do? Look, I just need all the food I can get right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I think it's time I break up with her. Oh. oh that's real nice. Why don't you grow up? <laughs> <laughs> he always says things like that. I'll gain weight. I'll be too fat to cheer. <laughs> Not so much the fact you want to be <laughs> Oh my god, really Jackie. Trouble. Jackie, it's all right. We'll get through this. What does Kelsey say about all this? No. No, he doesn't no, no, know? I cannot tell Michael. It's way too embarrassing. Be responsible for your own actions. That's real easy for you to say, pal. Whoa. Who are you yelling at? Yeah, you better get the hell out of ho his house. <laughs> You better, man, yelling at Red like that. In the heat of the moment, things happen. And the backseat of a car is no place to be worrying about birth control. 
Thanks, Mom. That's such great advice. Sam thinks she's having a heart attack. Going, come watch. Fucking Bob. What exactly is a muckatot? Feet. They will get long as well as white. Very gratifying. You foreign freak. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is scary, man. I, I I might have to get married. Not just married, married to Jack. Ooh, that's freaking That's a terrifying. rough. Yeah, I was about to say that's a rough one. Okay, I'm never having sex again. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go dab some cologne. <laughs> hey there, Eric. You, you you okay? I was just. How are you? Or the what? Orthonovum. Birth control pills. <laughs> Meet Bob. He's a typical American who works hard, <laughs> loves his family, and has never cheated on his tax return. Life is good, but lately he's noticed some slight changes in his daughter Donna. Oh no! I was school today. <laughs> Great dad. I got an A on a test. You see, Bob, the pill means Donna can have lots of sex with many different partners. No! Hi, Mr. Pinciotti. Boy, is your daughter something. <laughs> so, do you get it, Bob? She's open for business. Now serving? Oh, no. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm next. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. You know, the mail keeps disappearing. I think we have a little mail thief. <laughs> <laughs> I love her laugh. Speaking of, Lori, I could have sworn I saw a University of Wisconsin envelope sticking out of your bra. What's that all about? Ooh. Yeah. Donna's on the pill. Say something for what me. What did you do? Go back. Nothing. Nothing. Dinner's over. You. Kitchen. Now. No. Lori's flunking out. Eric, tell them about her flunking out. Did you know that Lori's flunking out of college? Yeah! Change this oh, you're, you're all mad, Red. In your little head. Foreplay is very important. <laughs> oh, what am I watching right now? What on earth are we watching right now? Oh, no, it's not. I can see Red's been having trouble. Yes, it is. <laughs> you're fine, Red and Kitty are watching Bonanza. I gotta go. Hey, smart move going on the pill. That was the best thing I ever did. Just wait till you get to college. <laughs> oh, all right, she's something else. Lori's something else. Donna. Guess what? You're having twins? <laughs> no, I'm not pregnant. Oh my God. Oh my God, Jackie, thank God. Tell me more about this pill. Is there anything weird to your hair? Uh, only above your lip. <laughs> oh my you god. I don't understand why Donna has to take this pill. Is she sick? No, Fizz. She takes the pills so that she can have all the sex she wants and not get pregnant. Mm. Is such a useful product available? What the hell were you thinking, you idiot? Right, Kelso? Did she just break up with me? I think she did. Yep. <laughs> I am so sad for you. May I please have your phone number? <laughs> Fez. Come on, man. All I'm saying is we have to wait for the right time. Okay. How about now? <laughs> mm, no. Okay. How about now? No. Okay. <laughs> Now? Now? Yes. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, she got me. Now, right? <laughs> I bid uh, three hearts. Oh, uh, how super awkward it is between both of them now. I'll go with three spades. Both couples. <laughs> Watch Midge be something ridiculous. This is fun. Oh my God. All right, well, that is season one, episode 17 of That 70s Show. And yet again, it's a nice, brilliant, fun episode. 
I'm telling you, I, I literally had a conversation with my brother uh, prior to recording this. And uh, we were going over, you know, the shows that we're watching. And I was telling him that that 70s show is such a consistent show. It's so good all the time. Like it literally it it's rare is crap when there's ever an episode that I'm not fond of. It's it's it gives out a consistent seven, eight, nine range, uh, which to me is always it ranges from good to really great all the time. There hasn't been an episode that wasn't up to that par. And if I even graded it low, it was just because I was probably having a bad day that day, because honestly, the show's a lot of fun. And even when I re edit uh for this show, uh re edit, when I edit the show for YouTube purposes, uh, I go through and I'm laughing the entire thing, like the entire time, the entire time when I'm editing it. Uh, it's a super fun, enjoyable experience every single time. Uh, some, you know, in this case, there's sometimes there's, there's stories that are so like you need to listen in on it. And, you know, obviously, if you're watching my videos uh, and you and you're younger, uh, this would be one of those episodes that I would tell you to really pay attention and listen to what's being said in this episode because although it's funny and it's comedic, some of the ways that Kelso and Jackie were acting is kind of how it is in real life, especially when you're not in that position to, uh, you know, have children. And so I'm not going to sit here and tell you uh, what you got to do with your life. You know what I mean? But, you know, take the proper uh, precaution, take the proper steps to make sure that you you're safe, you're protected and, you know, you're doing you're doing the smart thing because anyone that tells you uh, that they had it, that, you know, the thought of it never crossed their mind at, you know, they're they're I mean, they said that Jackie's a sophomore, so I'm assuming she's what, 14, 15 years old, maybe. It crosses all of our minds, you know what I mean? It may not cross our minds as often as others. By all means, I know that there's certain people that are over the top. But it crosses all of our minds, you know what I mean? It's a part of puberty. It's a part of, you know, growing up. It's a part of, you know, curiosity. You're going to be curious. So I'm just, not that I don't, I don't know what age group most of the people that watch uh, this show, these reactions on YouTube are. I'm just saying if you're in that range if you are debating certain things, it doesn't hurt to stay protected. It doesn't hurt to, uh, you know what I mean? Sort of, you know, avoid certain things that you're not prepared for. And even if you think you're prepared for it, especially if you're, you know, Jackie's age here, believe me, there's a lot to it. You know, I had, I had my daughter young, you know what I mean? Not as young as Jackie, of course. But, you know, younger than a lot of people do. And, uh, you know, everyone was always constantly telling me, hey, you know, don't. Or, uh, you know, kids are a huge responsibility, this, this and that. And I would sort of brush it off. I'm not going to lie. I would brush it off all the time. I would, you know, uh, kids can't be that bad. Uh, you know, diapers are only this much. Everything adds up. Everything adds up. And then the other thing that we tend to forget, or at least I tend, or that I forgot going into it, you literally, like every time you hang out with friends and everything, you lose that. And you're probably like, what do you, what do you mean? I'm saying in the sense of the second you have a child, to find someone to watch your child for you to go out and have fun with your friends, it's not as easy as it seems. And, you know, I'm lucky enough that, you know, I have a loving mother and, you know, my mom and my daughter's relationship is a really great one. And so, you know, my mom is more willing than most parents, you know, to watch my daughter. But I'm telling you, it is not easy. And I don't know why, why I felt the need to go off and, you know, talk on, you know, this topic, but just take the proper uh, precautions, take the proper steps, just be safe, man. I know you want to have fun. Just be safe. Uh, but that's what I love about this show, though, is like an episode like this that, yes, it's funny. Yes, the way the parents were acting and the way, obviously, Jackie and Kelsa were acting is funny. 
but it's a it's it's a real life scenario it's a real life situation where you know things like this happen all the time and so the fact that uh Donna is going on the pill look I'm I'm certain I'm going to get to this point too at some point my daughter's going to get to that point do I want to think about it now no she's my sweet little angel I don't want to think about that right now but at some point I'm going to have to face that reality so the way Bob is reacting in the sense of like freaking out a little bit I understand where he's coming from already and I'm not and she's not even there yet. So I can only imagine what I would be like, you know, when that uh, sort of stuff goes on. Uh, on the other hand, if you have, you know, kids and you have a boy. I can see where Red is coming from, where he's just like, you know, the point is. Be safe, have fun, but just be safe. Uh, you don't want to be stressing out, especially like if you're in high school, like. Having a kid in high school is a big deal. It is really, I didn't have a kid in high school. I'm just, I'm just saying I've seen a fair share and I'm sure uh, a lot of you have seen a fair share as well. It is not an easy task. I've seen, uh, you know, women that quit out and, 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 and just drop out because it's too much stress to deal with a child and to go to school and to just juggle everything at once. It's a lot. And so the fact that they made an episode like this, it's really cool. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, it makes you realize like how important it is to, you know, really protect yourself and stay safe. If you, if you know you're going to be doing something with someone, be safe about it, man. Be safe about it, especially, especially if you're young especially if you're young, just be safe about it. I'm glad they, you know, had a, I think maybe I read into this a little differently than most people will. Some people probably just sit back, laugh at what's going on. I was sort of thinking of it like, oh wow, they're really telling a, a super like realistic story. So hopefully you guys took that from this reaction and review. If I were, if, if even my review and you're still watching it was able to, you know, open your eyes to something different too. Or if, if you're someone that, you know, agrees with me, let me know in the comment section. I, I'm telling you guys, I read a lot of the comments. I am no, I'm nobody. Like I, I'm, I'm literally your average Joe that walks by you. Uh, and I'm nobody. I have no degrees in anything that knows. Like, look, I just, I talk, I'm honest, I, I, I speak from, you know, experience or from what I've seen visually uh, from someone else. Uh, and that's the only way, I mean, I'm very, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm very, but it's my opinion on things, you know what I mean? I think what sets me apart from a lot of people is that uh, if I enjoy something, I'm going to let you know I enjoy it. If I dislike something, I'm going to let you know I dislike it. I'm going to give you my reasons. You may agree with them. You may disagree with them. But I'm going to be honest. I feel like a lot of people sort of sell out to the idea of like, man, if I shit on this That 70 Show episode, people are going to stop watching my videos. Look, I, like to me, what makes it authentic is that I am honest with you guys from the get go. I tell you how I feel, even in my list earlier in the intro. That's a that's a very huge opinion of mine. You might agree, you might disagree. I try to give you my reasonings behind my list. You know what I mean? It's just how I am. And so, really cool episode. I enjoyed it a lot. Like I said, I'd give it an eight. Uh, really good moments. Very good teaching sort of lesson going on here too. They throw comedy in it. Serious stuff in it. And it's awesome. I enjoyed it. So, hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there episodes extra early over there as well Whew. with that being said i'll catch you guys later bees guys